Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And it's time for another daily dose of Dismal Disney. We're going to talk about the Little Mermaid movie. No, we're not going to talk about the race swaps or any of the, the down votes. weird character design choices. The weird character design choices. What we're going to talk about is the music. The music is going to be changed substantially. Well, they're adding new songs and they're making some changes to classics. Yeah, this is not going to go well. I, I'm, I'm telling you, just all the way around, this is not going to go well. The Little Mermaid has some of the most iconic music of any Disney movie of all time. And making changes like this, it's not going to go well. Well, making any new songs isn't new. I mean, they do this for Broadway all the time. I don't think people are going to care about that so much, even though one of them's going to be a rap song because it's Lin-Manuel Miranda and it's Aquafina and the one other person from Hamilton, I think, is playing uh, Sebastian. I can't remember her name. Yeah. Um, so we already know we're getting a rap song because, you know, that's par for the course. But, you know... Um, the problem people are having is they're making some changes to the classic songs for really dumb reasons is what the, the issue is. The adding new songs, that's normal. They always do this. Changing lyrics, they change it from other things too, but they're, they're changing it because consent and, you know, because little girls are dumb. Yeah, so let's let's talk about this. This is going to anger a lot of people. I, I think even more so than the race swaps. Um, I think this thing is going to be dead on arrival. I'm looking at the release I schedule. No, I think it'll still do well because there's some people <sighs> sucking up to it. I think it'll still do okay. Well, here, here's the thing though. These Disney live action movies, a lot of times they make bank and then they're completely forgotten. Right, but here's the problem. Like, well, yeah, it's true. Like Lion King and everything else. But here's what's going on. Everybody's so busy trying to to white knight for this and to make sure that they, you know, say the right things to make sure they're not canceled and, and you know, love it and, and enjoy it because they have to, that people are going to go to it. Initially, you, they're going to go to it. Are they? Because I, I look, I, I've seen... Like, look, I, I don't even have any guess. I'm going to be honest. I don't have But I'm any... on these boards all the time, and I see that every time Disney farts something with Little Mermaid, that everybody's there to smell the fish. I mean, they're, like, right there <laughs> to talk about it. They are. And they're like, oh, my God, Disney. Oh, my God, thank you. Oh, my God. Representation matters. Unless you're that really itty-bitty red hair, blue eye percentage. But that's too small to even worry about. And that literally was something some woman said who, you know, was like, excited because it's reputation, representation for her. Um, <laughs> I'm just like, representation matters as long as it's what I want. And there's so many people that are so afraid of being canceled for saying they don't like it that they just like fall all over themselves. Even those who disagree are like, well, I want to say that I think Halle Bailey is very talented and she's very pretty, but you know, you have you to, have to yes. preface it, but then the proof is going to be in the receipts. And look, I don't even, I don't even have a guess. I just think it's funny. You said, it's like, come to Disney world and smell the tuna. It it's smells just pretty, like Ariel. Like they're doing. It's they're your Disney like dream. Um, I don't even have a guess anymore because a lot of times these movies, they wind up doing well overseas. Now, this one is getting a Chinese release. I don't I don't know how it's going to go in China for reasons we've talked about before in relation to Finn and The Force Awakens. Well, and people and can, like really loved Ariel, Ariel over there, like the animated Ariel in China. Yeah. So I don't know how it's going to go. I don't have any guesses. Um, I, I just think that creatively... I think this thing is going to be dead on arrival. Um, this is not the first time Disney's made no, changes. Not at all. To, you know, live action songs, classic songs. Be prepared. They completely gutted that song because we can't have people thinking Scar's a Nazi. That's the point. He's he, a genocidal th asshole. That's, that, the, that's the point. He was ushering in a fascist regime. That's that, the point. And actually, actually, the point is uh, he brought in his new regime. And the entire society collapsed and they had to go back to the old ways. So there's a lot to be said there. Yes, you know, but with, they cut it Star. out because yeah. somebody at Disney thought it was inappropriate. Well, well just, just hold your ass because here we got some more. All right. So before you get into it any further, if you like the content, give us a sub. Geeky will give you a woohoo. If you don't like the content, don't care. But woohoo anyway. People are gonna, people are gonna, people are gonna comment. And they do like, I don't like your content. I'm not gonna sub to you. Bob, Bob, Bob. It's like, why are you here? But you still wrote, so we still get paid. So woohoo! It's still interaction. Yes, Thank YouTube you. doesn't care. If you hate us. Thank you too. If you have to make sure you tell us. Thanks for those Thank hate, you. hate pennies um, from hell. We'll take it. The more the better. Um. All right. So. Anyway, yeah, so I just did an article on this on Pirates and Princesses, but we're going to use where I got this from Just Jared, who got it from Vanity Fair, but they kind of break it down. They interviewed Alan Menken. Okay, Alan Menken was the the, the composer on a lot of classic Disney yeah. films that, you know, from the 90s on. Uh, Little Mermaid was one of them. Um, for this one, of course, because Lin-Manuel Miranda is like, like 
for whatever reason, they kiss his ass all the time now too. They bring him in as the lyricist. And I know, I, I don't get me wrong. I do like his work. I think I think a lot of things like Hamilton was very different. His stuff. But like, I'm, I'm thinking uh, Mary Poppins Returns was a dud. And, yeah, the movie didn't do well. But I mean, no. he's done songs for other animated films and things. And they've been really good. So as long as yeah. I do not dislike him in any way. Moana, he did the music for that. Right. And I love Moana music, yeah. which that's a whole other thing because a live action movie is coming. Um, so I don't I don't dislike him. But I, I expected a certain thing, and that's what we're getting. Um, so anyway, according to Ellen Menken, they were interviewing him about changes to the movie. And they were told that we have uh, some new songs coming. Uh, they're having one called Wild Uncharted Waters for Prince Eric. Ariel's going to get it. Whoa. Wait, this, Whoa, what kind of uncharted waters? Well, like, he's a seaman. So. He wants to plunder some booty. Anyway, um, then they have a uh, new song for Ariel. But this is, this is where it gets interesting. It's yeah. a new song for her. For when she arrives on land with her legs for the first time. Okay. So think about that. She arrives on land with her legs and she's going to have a song. Is she wearing pants? No, she doesn't have a voice. But this is a song in her head. That's stupid. It's a song in her head about all the things she's observing after being on land. Which, I, I mean, it's not... It's kind of... I get why they're kind of... <laughs> I'm just saying they're like, maybe she's trying, maybe she's trying to sing and she can't. It's like, <laughs> it's like, what's wrong with that girl? I, <laughs> if I'm being fair, it could be a cute song. Like, cause she's finally got to land. She finally got to be a person. It, I think it makes sense to put a song there, but it's just weird that she's just singing it in her head. But it like does Ellie, make like, sense. Boom, boom, boom. But let's be honest. But let's be honest though. If you got into land and you just finally got legs and you've been a fish your whole life, what's the first thing you're gonna do? You're gonna want to explore your legs and what's there. And that's probably not in the song. <laughs> so they have a new song called I Have Two New Holes. Yes, like finally I'm tuna. <laughs> you know? I'm not a fish, but I smell like one. I'm just, I don't know what to say. I don't understand what's going on. Um, so she's going to sing a song in her thoughts, which I don't think, I mean, I'm going to be honest. I don't think it's a bad idea. I think it makes sense. Um, I, I just, <laughs> she's singing a song in her head. That's stupid. I, I, it makes sense, I guess, in some ways, but you know. <laughs> she like cut away, like I said. She's singing this beautiful song in her head, and then she's like, it's like half naked girl. Noise. Like, yeah. She can't make noise at all. Or she's just like flapping her but hands. I'm saying that would be what it'd be like. It'd be some of the cup on her, and she's just like not making any noise, and like pointing to things, and like gyrating and gesturing, and all this other What's stuff. That's with the crazy <laughs> naked chick on the beach. Pretty much. That's where we're on, That's where we're oh I'm going with it. It's like that's, I get the point. I get why she sing a song on her head. I get why they'd want to put that in there. I don't think that's a bad addition, but it would look really weird. Um, and then there's another song they they did now for Sub, Sub, Scuttle and Sebastian. It's called Scuttlebutt. And it's going to be a rap song because it's Aquafina and the guy oh from my Hamilton. God, so it's going to no. be Scuttlebutt. The, it's the rap song about um, when they hear that Prince Eric's getting married to think it's Ariel. Which implies that it's Vanessa, which implies then that they're going to keep the original story where she has to kiss Eric, which is going to be relevant to the next point. Well, I have it. You know what they'll do just, just to stick it to the haters, the haters, you know what they'll do. They'll make Vanessa look like Ariel from the original movie. I, I said it the other day. Yeah. yeah. And she'll be the villain and they'll be like, Oh look, she looks just like Ariel with the red hair and the, mm -hmm. I said, I joked about that the other day, but um, yeah. So anyway, so they have this harebrained song trying to figure out what's going on because they hear rumors that the prince has decided to marry. They think it must be Ariel, but of course it's Ursula in the form of Vanessa. It's all this delicious imagination. Lynn's lyrics are to die for. It is a rap song. It was confirmed. Oh my God. No. You know, so these are the new songs. There was another one they did for Triton too, but they cut it out. So it was about his wild child kid. I forget what it was called, but you know, uh, they cut that one out. So, but that's not, that's not the case. New songs expected. Okay. That's normal. Here's where it gets weird. So, oh, here's where it gets weird. Okay. So, wait. So, for the new movie, they have to change lyrics. And it, I get the I get the vibe that Alan Menken thinks this is kind of dumb, too. Because here's what he said. He said, um, there are some lyric changes to kiss the girl because people have gotten very sensitive about the idea that Prince Eric wouldn't in any way force himself on Ariel. It's kiss the girl, not rape the girl. Right. But beyond that, let's, let's look at the story. And it's obviously still in play because Vanessa... Ariel wants to be with Eric, goes up to the human world. So to break to the contract, she has to get him to kiss her. 
That's the point. So by signing that in contract, it, it is implied that she has agreed to get Eric to kiss her. And that is her goal is to get this guy to kiss her. So the, the idea that he has to have consent to kiss her, I get what they're saying because he doesn't know that. But it's also kind of dumb because the audience all knows that that's what she wants or that's what she needs to do. Well, okay. And she agreed to that. Watch them change and be like, oh, my God, I got to kiss this guy. Like, I, like, hate this guy. Then why put the song in it at all? Why not change the story completely? Oh, just wait. Oh, I know, but I'm, I'm just waiting saying. for the other. I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. So I, somehow consent is being added to kiss oh the girl. Oh my god! Um, kiss the girl, but only if she gives you a written contract that she wants it and says so on social. media. But what media. about girls that kiss guys without consent? Oh, that's totally fine. Just to ask, uh, what's her face? The, the, oh, that one, that no, one comics no. artist. Uh, or, or, oh, Mindy Kelly. Kelly. I thought about yeah. that comics artist in Canada. Oh no, yeah, it doesn't work both. It doesn't work both ways. Like you're, you're totally allowed as a woman now, current year, to just like kiss a guy and ha ah, ha. It's funny. Don't be so sensitive. Well, you know, just that, you know, anybody, that you, 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 you guy and kiss the guy, or your girl and kiss the girl. You know, what if your girl and kiss the girl? You know, how does consent work then? You know, I mean, it's just it's stupid. So he even seemed kind of annoyed. He's like, people are very sensitive about consent oh, now. God, um, but. She she obviously gave consent if, if if they're going the same story, which it sounds. I know they were changing it, and but they said but she's like she doesn't need a man. But then there's the way it's playing out. Sounds like that's what they're leading with anyway. So she signed the contract, and that was still the contract, and that's implied that she gave consent. Maybe she didn't read the fine print before she signed the contract. She's like, ew, I gotta go kiss a stinky boy. Ew. Mm-hmm. I just want to live on the on or on the land. Because, I just want you know, to play with my toys on land. I don't want to touch a stinky. Oh, boy. her toys with her. No, new her toy, her stuff that she gets <laughs> the junk at the bottom of the ocean. She wants to actually, play with her junk. Okay. Actually, I'm I'm like okay. So where's the ecological? We want to be progressive. Where's the ecological message? Because there's all this garbage. That is true. At the bottom of the ocean. The Ariel's hoarding. Like she should be throwing it back up onto the boats and be like, "Hey, bastards." Think about be me, though. <laughs> think I, about the sea lions, you motherfuckers. Would, that would be me as Ariel. The, I mean, Suck I, my dingle hopper. I'm not wrong. I'm like, that'd be no, me you'd be like, <laughs> like throw bags of trash and throw it at him. Freaking, what is this? You're gonna kill a sea turtle. I, uh, <laughs> that's exactly what I was thinking. Dolphins are dying, bitch. If I have to pull one more straw out of a sea turtle's ass, yeah, stick it right. My fin up yours, you know. I mean, that would be me. That would be me. See, it's not progressive right? enough. She needs to be concerned about all the garbage she's letting sit in the bottom of the ocean. Well, she's collecting some of it, but yeah, the, but it's a, <laughs> better a hoarder a, than a whore, I guess. There's cause... a message there too. Anyway, so that was the first change. Okay, all right, so this is good. So be now they're gonna aspect. change. This is my personal favorite. Okay, at least that one about consent. Okay, I can maybe right, possibly right. maybe give you, even though I think it's dumb. This next one though, I just I'm just like, do you think girls are stupid? Okay, yes. So the new they do. Song, the new song for poor unfortunate souls. They had to change lines that make may, might make young girls somehow feel they shouldn't speak out of turn, even though Ursula is clearly manipulating Ariel. He said, there is a song, her voice for Broadway show. But Rob really wanted a new song for this moment. So basically, they're changing Poor Unfortunate Souls. I think the word was, I think someone, another article I saw, they're talking about how, about that they don't like, you know, they don't like a girl who like, makes a lot of blabber or whatever. Yeah. I think a girl who gossips is a bore. Well, they right, changed right. that lyrics because they don't want little girls to think that boys won't like them if they talk. And my comment to that is a couple things. One. Um, girls aren't stupid. It was clear that she was manipulating Ariel. I never, I, I watched it when I was younger. I never once thought, oh, well, I guess I shouldn't speak because guys won't like me when I'm talk. You've been, you've watched this video. You've watched all our videos, um, or some of them. You know, I have no problem speaking and not letting Neon talk. You know, I have absolutely no problem with that. Yes, dear. But I'm just saying, it makes women, like, girls look stupid. Like, you think you can't speak because Ursula took her voice away and said that women don't like to, that that, that women should be kept silent or whatever. And I'm like, have you been on social media? There's a lot of chicks out there who clearly have no problem telling you exactly what they think and won't stop telling you. If she talks too much, just give her the touch and kiss the girl. You can't do that. That's not consent. How are you supposed to get consent when she can't talk? She make like fish lips or something like. Well, in the movie, she was like one coming at him. She was the one closed her eyes and moving at him before you know. And I'm like, she was clearly giving consent the entire time. She could sign the thing to give consent. You have to I sign mean, the document. She signed the contract saying she was gonna kiss because him. She, if anything, she was trying to sexually. She was she was being sexually aggressive towards him. Yes, but 
it's her word against his, and he, as the prince, could get involved in some sort of. But he has a prince that doesn't matter. He has the ultimate authority. And the ultimate PR say. scandal. No, they'll kick him out of. They'll kick him off the throne. They'll be like, you know, we don't have any proof that she had consent. It was just your word against his, and you were in that. You were, you know, out there in that boat, and we don't know what happened because there's yeah. no. Do you have a? We sign? tried that. We tried to interview the tried to interview the animal, the fish, and the bird, but all they, they kept saying was. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, so like, and then that's it. That's the end of his kingdom. Yeah. Now they just rap. Now they just rap. Then Vanessa and Ariel run off together. <laughs> that would be and, funny, um, actually. You know, I, but I, Ursula realizes that she loves Ariel, and that's why she doesn't want her. She wants to be part of Ariel's world. Um, that would totally track, actually. That would totally but, track. Yeah. yeah. So girls are too dumb to understand yeah. that it's a it's a manipulation tactic from Ursula. So they have to change the lyrics so girls know they are allowed to speak because Lord knows there are so many women out there who who are afraid to t- to talk. You know, you're probably right. This thing is probably going to make a ton of money, and it's going to come and go, and there's going to be a lot of drama. The media's going to be like, "Oh my God, the haters and the bigots," and then it like six or eight months after the fact, we're like, you know what? We really didn't like the changes that they made to the Little Mermaid after. Oh, you mean the media? Yeah. yeah. But they're gonna be like, it has nothing to do with Halle Bailey. Just so you know, don't cancel us. But the movie was dog shit, and we can say it now because it's out of the theaters. Well, and Disney's not advertising it on our site anymore. They wouldn't say anything about against it until they saw the pictures of Sebastian and Flounder, which they tried to argue was was not the actual characters, and it turned out they were. Disney Scuttle. wouldn't do anything so budget cuts. Like, have you seen Modoc? <laughs> And scuttle, yeah, yeah. and then and now now that it's okay to hate on them, they're using that as their angle to hate on. I think a lot of people think this movie is a stupid idea. I think a lot of people are tired of the live action remakes. They think this is not going to go well, but they're afraid to say anything. But these give them opportunities to voice something at, at these other places. We just voice it anyway. And I mean, do I think people are going to go? I, I sadly I do because I'm on these different places, different boards, and there's so every time they 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 put one of these posts up, there are people just tripping all over themselves to tell Disney how wonderful they are and how amazing it is, and that they're so great. I think Halle Bailey is 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 pretty. I think she can sing. I think they ought to tune her some, but I think she can sing. And I think that um, I think the movie's really even dark for whatever reason. Then pictures I'm on the beach. I'm like, why do you make everything muted? Why is everything like with a filter? It's like sad. Don't do that. Because it's going to look even – I think that's a way of being like, oh, hey, we'll make it look more realistic. Because if we have bright colored fish, it's going to be more obvious that the CGI is But I think the bright, the, going the bright colored route would be a better way to go. I think people would be more like, oh, it's like a cartoon. Ver- it's, you know what I mean? It would, I think people would be more receptive to it if it wasn't so flipping dark. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I, I have – Less, now they're fucking up the songs. Less than zero interest in this. I haven't even watched the last couple live action Disney movies. But I haven't um, watched any other than Cinderella. I watched yeah, Cinderella. Well, see, the thing with Cinderella, and that was before it was oversaturated. The Jungle Book. That's the only time. The Jungle Book was actually pretty good. And it's John Favreau's fault that we're getting all this shit. If the Jungle Book had been a bomb, we wouldn't be getting any Here's of this. Here's the thing. Um, I think the Jungle Book was the only one I sat through way through. I, don't, I didn't watch all Cinderella. And Cinderella was like my favorite when I was a kid. It was and boring. I didn't watch all. I watched part of it and I was like, eh. Yeah. And uh, actually what, what did it for me was Maleficent because I'm like, no, we don't make Maleficent the most evil Disney villain of all time. We don't turn her into a sympathetic character. Yeah, she's supposed to be like the leader of the villains. And then like, but, you know, because it's Angelina Jolie and she's She's got to be a misunderstood. You know, the men, the men made her evil. I'm I like, just, come just, on. You come know, on. this is just stupid. I'm yeah. just, it's just stupid. So anyway. Hey, there's oh, more. Stu- yeah, there's more stupidity coming. They're, they're doing Moana with. The Rock and the girl that played Moana less than 10 years after the movie came out. So they're basically just reshooting the movie without the animation. Yeah, it was just stupid. I was just on a, 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 one of the chats today and people were talking about, oh, my God, Moana, yes. And I said, I said just what you said. I'm like, this is stupid. And I said what I found especially entertaining, which I mentioned before, was it was right after Iger announced his return to creativity, he announces this one. And I was like, oh, that's. They're not even recasting. They're literally just taking the same cast and putting them in live action. And then, and then. I just can't. And The Rock just plays himself in every movie. Yeah. And then on top of all that, after he said, this is after he's made the comments, we're going to try to cut costs to keep it more affordable for Disney guests. They raised Genie Plus to 35 bucks a person a day. I, I, I don't even. So basically I, what our Bob Iger says, he's full of shit. Yeah, of course. He's, he's saying whatever he needs to say to right. bump the stock price up. I wonder who, who said that was going to happen. 
Anyway, uh, this is going to be a train wreck. This is probably going to make a lot of money, but it's going to be a train wreck anyway. We're going to wrap it up. Yeah. All right. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk later. Be part of our world. Be part of our world here in the reef. I'd sing, but I'm sick. All right. Bye. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.